Hey you all, Farmer Jesse here, going to do a quick trial with this bottom piece here that you see. That is the double disc opener. Uh, Diego, in full disclosure, sent me this to trial um, from Paper Pot Co. So in real time, I'm gonna trial it and let you know what I think. So our bed flip is always the same for lettuce. Mm, that one, I'll go through and I will pick out weeds. I'll mow it really tight with the flail mower and then I'll seed it. So we're leaving those roots in there and this is where that double disc opener, like why I'm so curious about it, um, comes in handy. So the idea is that it will roll over those, resi those residual roots and be able to seed directly into that bed without getting caught on those roots because what the Jang comes with is a little shoe. Um, so this is a roller and it kind of cuts through those roots. So that's the idea. All right, and just to give a little bit more explanation here, what I did was I, like I said, went through and picked out the weeds with a hoe, just clipped them, pushed them kind of on top. You can't really see that in the time lapse, but I'm just pulling them right onto the bed surface. And then I mow it with a lowered flail mower. I talked about this in another video, I think. If I can find it, I'll link it. But essentially, I lower the blade on the flail mower, or I guess you could say lift the skid or the roller, whatever your flail mower has, in that way, the blade is going right at the soil surface. So let me check, let me show you what that does. Is if you can see that right there, that is a lettuce that was just here. So it clips it off right at the soil surface and leaves this nice clean bed for me to sow, right? So it's it's definitely got mulch, right? It's got lots of like green mulch on it. Um, but it's ready to sow. However, in the past we've used the Jang or the Earthway um, and the shoe that comes with that kind of clips those roots and pulls them up. So let's give this roller, this double disc opener, is what it's called. Um, let's give this double disc opener a try and I'll kind of give you some notes in real time as to how it goes. All right, so the first thing I'll say is that it works pretty well. Like, in terms of hitting those lettuce stobs, what it does, the double disc will either kind of push around it a little bit or kind of pop over top of it sometimes, but it doesn't seem to pull out the lettuce. And the other thing um, is that it kind of does slice through it a little bit. I mean, it's a good, it's actually working pretty well. The one thing that I did, and I'll show you this, so you can see here, this is the, nut that you would loosen to put it on in the first place, that's it. You loosen this, this drops out, and then you, that's also how you would switch it out. So this drops out and then you can put it back in. So I actually ended up wanting to raise it up a little bit. So I'm gonna do a couple more passes, but um, I wanted to raise that up just a little bit. I felt like it was going a little deeper than I wanted, especially for the onions that I'm sowing. Uh, so I'm gonna try, try it that way for a minute. All right, so once I really got cruising, it was very, very smooth. I don't, I wanna emphasize something here. It's definitely not a seed drill. Like in a seed drill situation, if you're drilling into pasture or really hard pan or something, like a conventional farmer maybe has like a, a double disc and it drops seeds underneath the double disc. But the difference is um, you can't quite put enough pressure on this. I wouldn't put enough pressure on this, but you really can't. Um, to do that same thing. So still need, in our case, like a heavy mulch here, um, a residual mulch from last year, or something that's relatively seedable, a seed bed of sorts. And the other, the par part of that is because your pressure, right, the pressure on this seeder is in the back. You're putting all your weight on that back wheel. 
you would need it to go directly on top of that, that double disc for that to even be an option. So um, there isn't quite a cedar like that yet. Even the Haas that comes with a double disc doesn't do that. Um, so now the next big question is, is it worth the price? Uh, would I buy it if somebody hadn't sent it to me? <sighs> That's a tough one. It's $100. It's not cheap. And it's not cheap for an already kind of pricey cedar. Um, in my mind, this should be the standard. I don't even really, after having used this once, I don't have enough, you know, I don't have a great enough impression of it yet. I haven't used it enough times to say for sure, but it kind of seems like this should be the standard because I can see this working in all sorts of different soils, whereas the shoe is always kind of problematic and it's creating a furrow where this is doing less of that sort of surface compaction and more just sort of rolling over it and pushing the dirt aside. So um, this honestly, yeah, the, the roller should be, the disc should be the, the double disc should be the standard. But I, you know, whether or not it's worth it, it won't really work on, somebody asked me if it would work on, um, you know, the Earthway or something like that, and it won't. It's, it's specific for the Jang. Um, and it can work with the, all the JP series, I guess. Uh, I haven't trialed it with all the JP series, but uh, Diego told me it'll work with all the JP series. Is it, is it worth the price? I really like it. I think that one, thing is that I do think the Jang is worth the price. One bed of carrots or two beds of carrots, if you're doing 100 foot beds, will totally pay for the Jang. So it's worth it. Is that extra $100 is kind of tight? Um, will it add enough value? That's hard to say. Uh, because I honestly think you can, you know, for a whole, for last year, we just, anytime we ran into a stop, we just kind of skipped over it. Um, it is really nice though. It really makes the Jang even smoother than the Jang already is. I honestly can't make that call for you. Uh, it's pricey. It's definitely pricey. If it were $50, I would say absolutely. At $100, it's challenging. Anyway, I don't know. That's where I am right now. I'll let you know if I update that any. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you have any thoughts about this, if you already use it. Um, somebody said that the bearings can wear out on that little disc after a while, so that's something to think about. Um, other than that, you all like this video. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know what else you need us to test. I can reach out to people. I mean, to test it in a different way. I'll try it. All right, see you all later. Thanks for watching, bye.